Over the past couple of years, I've made a few videos ranking skylines by objective metrics, such as the number of skyscrapers in a city, but I figured it was time to finally create a completely subjective ranking of my favorite skylines in North America. This ranking is definitely more of an art than a science, and one that I spent way too much time thinking about. Now let's get to it. Starting off our list at number 15 is Boston. Boston Skyline has a nice blend of both old and new buildings, with my favorite building being the Custom House Tower. The Skyline also has a nice density to it. One reason Boston Skyline isn't higher on this list is that it's a difficult skyline to visualize when you're not there, because it lacks a distinctive shape that really sets it apart. Next at number 14 is Vancouver. Vancouver is a unique skyline in that it's incredibly dense, with the most residential high-rises per capita of any city in all of North America. But the skyline isn't very tall due to 26 different protected view corridors that keep the city from building up. Vancouver's skyline to me feels like a thick forest of glass and concrete. My wife and I went to Vancouver on our honeymoon and I was very impressed by this sprawling skyline. It doesn't hurt that the city is also located in one of the most naturally beautiful areas of any city on this list. The 13th best skyline on the continent is a city that actually has the 5th most skyscrapers of any city in North America, and that's Houston. Now I know some people are going to be upset that Houston isn't higher on this list given its skyline's impressive stats on paper, but I just don't think it's as visually interesting as the other skylines on the list. To me, Houston suffers from the same problem that Boston does in that it's not an easy skyline to conjure up a picture of if you aren't looking at it because it lacks any defining features other than just simply being large. Coming in at the 12th spot is my current home of Minneapolis. I love this skyline. Its tallest three buildings are all within feet of each other in height, but each is completely unique from the other architecturally. With those three buildings rising up nearly 800 feet out of the center of the city, they give the skyline a nice shape and make the skyline beautiful from nearly any vantage point. I would have loved to have put Minneapolis higher on the list, but it's not quite as impressive as the next skyline on the list, which is Dallas. Dallas has a unique looking skyline with the 920 foot tall Bank of America Plaza being the focal point. One of the buildings that gives the skyline a unique look is the Reunion Tower, but what gives Dallas the edge over Minneapolis to me is how well the skyline is lit at night. The 10th best skyline in North America is San Francisco. I have really mixed feelings about this skyline. On one hand, it has some of the best looking skyscrapers in the world, with the Transamerica Pyramid being perhaps the most iconic skyscraper on the whole west coast, and the new Salesforce Tower is one of my favorite skyscrapers, period. However, the skyline just doesn't come together in a very visually appealing way. It's similar to a sports team with some great individual contributors, but they don't play off of each other very well. It's still a good enough looking city to make it into my top 10, but the Salesforce Tower is doing a lot of the heavy lifting to even get it on this list. My ninth favorite skyline in North America is another Canadian city, Calgary, Alberta. Calgary's skyline just seems to come together in a very visually appealing way, and it has some really unique skyscrapers. My favorite building in the skyline is the Bow, which at 774 feet or 236 meters is the second tallest building in the city. I just love the look of it. Calgary also has a new skyscraper, the Telus Sky, which has an amazing light display. We'll go back to California for my eighth favorite skyline, which is Los Angeles. LA's skyline may underperform for its size, but it's still a great looking skyline. It's compact, has some good height to it, and has one of those cityscapes that looks good from every angle. My seventh favorite skyline is one of the most visually beautiful cities I've ever seen, and that's Pittsburgh. I'll always remember the moment I exited the Fort Pitt Tunnel and saw this incredible city for the first time. Although the skyline doesn't stand as tall as some of the skylines I've already mentioned on the list, the skyline creates the best visual picture of any city I've mentioned thus far. I happen to be in Pittsburgh right now while I work on this video, and I can say the skyline is as good as I remember it being. The sixth best skyline in North America is Miami. Miami's skyline is massive, with 65 buildings over 150 meters. This is a skyline that I was much more impressed with when I saw it in person. I actually like the fact that the buildings all have a light colored exterior, giving the skyline a consistent look that seems fitting for this sunny city. And ground was recently broken on the city's first super tall skyscraper, the Waldorf Astoria, which looks like a tower that was made from children's stacking blocks. The fifth best skyline in North America is really the one that started my city obsession as a child, and that is Seattle. 
When I was six, my dad had a connection that allowed us to go up into the Columbia Center, which started my appreciation for buildings and skylines. Seattle's skyline has a great density and shape to it, and it of course has the iconic Space Needle. And the city recently added its second tallest building, the Rainier Square Tower. I also think Seattle is arguably situated in the most naturally beautiful spot of any city on this list, with its location along the Puget Sound and the views of the looming Mount Rainier on a clear day. North America's fourth best skyline is Philadelphia. I may be a little partial to Philly since we recently lived there, but I just really love the look of the skyline. The Comcast Technology Center is the tallest building in the country not located in New York or Chicago, and it's one of the best looking skyscrapers at night with its giant beam of light rising from the ground to over 1100 feet in the air. The skyline includes a few other nice looking skyscrapers like One Liberty Place, but another building that gives the skyline a distinct look is the Philadelphia City Hall. This is one of my favorite buildings in the world. There are also plans to increase the size of the skyline with the Schuylkill Yards project over the coming decade. The third best skyline in North America is the continent's fastest growing, and that is Toronto. Toronto has a massive skyline beautifully situated on Lake Ontario. The most iconic structure is the CN Tower, which was the tallest freestanding structure in the world until the Burj Khalifa in Dubai was completed. The skyline is in the middle of a massive boom right now, and it's anticipated that it will double in size and likely surpass Chicago for total number of skyscrapers. Now before I reveal my top two skylines, I wanted to share what a few of my honorable mentions were. At the top of that list is Austin, Texas, which has a very new modern skyline and will soon add a super tall skyscraper, which will be the tallest building in all of Texas. Atlanta, Charlotte, and Jersey City were other honorable mentions that nearly made it on the list. Now getting back to my ranking, I realize this may be viewed as a hot take, but my second favorite skyline in North America is New York City. New York skyline is ridiculous. It's massive and is filled with so many beautiful and iconic skyscrapers. The skylines of downtown or midtown by themselves would be ranked higher than any of the cities I've previously mentioned. The city is having its largest skyscraper boom in a century, and there are so many new and interesting buildings going up such as the skinny skyscrapers on Billionaire's Row. A couple years ago we visited the Edge Observation Deck in New York City, and seeing my 4 year old daughter geek out over this incredible skyline may have been the highlight of my trip. I think the amount of skyscrapers can make the New York skyline a little chaotic though, whereas the skyscrapers seem to work more harmoniously for my favorite skyline which is Chicago. Chicago is the birthplace of the skyscraper and to me it has the best looking skyline on the continent. Not only do I love the look of most of its tallest buildings such as the Willis Tower, formerly the Sears Tower, the Trump Tower, the Vista Tower, and the John Hancock Center, but I think I appreciate each of them more because of the space between them. To use an analogy, I grew up with the Tetons within view and I think they present the most breathtaking view of any mountains in the country. They aren't the tallest in the country, nor are there that many of them, but they're the most beautiful because of the way they just jut out of the valley floor and because of the spacing between each of the peaks. Chicago skyline has those things going for it as well, which is why I personally think it's the best looking skyline in North America. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, and if you're interested in learning more about cities, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much and have a great day.